Hello all. Today we are going to add a camera plugin to the URDF of a mobile robot and we will be creating a custom world in Gazebo. This is the expected output. Through image view we will be able to see the camera perspective of our mobile robot. So let's see what are the steps that we have to do to get this camera perspective. To get the plugin of a camera, go to gazebosim.org page and copy the plugin under open and egg in it. Paste it inside our URDF under robot tag. Next we need to change the gazebo reference to camera link which is the name of the camera link. We are using a Kinet camera, first we have to change the sensor name also we have to change the name of the frame camera link is the uh, link inside our urdf which is acting as a camera so we have to give the name of the frame that is acting as a camera this plugin helps us to make the camera link a real camera the camera link will provide the visual information of the gazebo world so that we have to provide the name of the topics of all camera informations like image topic name, depth image topic name etc. Also we have to give some specifications like point cloud cutoff, point cloud maximum cutoff etc. We can give according to the specifications of our camera. In the plugin provided we have given the camera frame as camera link but actually we haven't included a camera link in our URDF. So to get a camera link we can actually copy it from the same page itself, paste it inside the robot tag. So we got a camera link and also a camera join. The parent link of camera join is the base link and the child link is a uh, camera link. So the camera join is the join between base link and the camera link which is a fixed join. Or we can manually uh, write the code for a link and a join between base link and camera link. We need to change the dimensions of the link to the things inside the dollar sign we have to give the proper dimensions of the link. We are giving the camera link as a box so providing the dimensions is 0.1 length. 0.1 breadth and 0.1 height. All dimensions are in meter. Similarly, change the visual tags also to the same dimensions. Next, we need to keep the camera join at a height of 0.2 meter from the ground. So, for that, uh, changing the origin of the camera join, base link is the parent of the camera join so uh, giving origin x y z as 0 0 point to point to is a set direction height next we need to change the row pitch here changing row and pitch to 3.14 this is according to my case in my case i had to uh, change the orientation of the camera link to 3.14 in both row and pitch Next, I am changing the name of the parent link as base link. So, uh, we have specified a link for camera, we have specified a joint for camera and we have a plugin which says that the particular joint acts as a camera. Add gazebo reference tag like this to the camera link and give some color to the camera link. This color will be reflected in the gazebo environment. Next we need to launch the gazebo world and the robot. So first we are renaming the gazebo.launch file to gazebo underscore tiff dot launch in this particular example. So we are going to launch for that use the command ROS launch space package name space name of the launch file. Press enter. The robot will be opened along with the gazebo environment. Currently we have given an empty gazebo environment. So next we need to create a custom world. Before that 
I am just trying to uh, teleoperate this using keyboard for that ROS run teleop twist keyboard teleop twist keyboard dot pi run the particular node and you will be able to control your robot using the keys. So the box on top of the robot is acting as a camera when we move the robot in this particular world we will be able to see the visuals using this camera link so to see the visuals first we need to create a custom world to create a custom world click on edit building editor click on the wall and you will be able to create a building using the wall option just draw the plan of a building means the top view of a building you can see the 3d uh, building on bottom of the window and you will be able to draw the plan on top of the window similarly draw the rest of the walls using the wall option you can also add windows and door to the walls if you want to add stairs just click on stairs and place it in anywhere we want the stairs you can also give color to the particular structure using the add color option also we can add different textures to the option for that just click on color or just click on the texture and then click on the 3D walls uh, on the bottom side. So we are trying out different textures. Now we have given a brick texture to the walls and a wooden texture to the stairs. Next we need to save this particular building. For that click on file save and give some name and location and then click on save. So we got the building and this will be saved inside the model so that if you want to reuse the same building we can actually take it from the models. So we have created a building. Building has many windows and walls on it. Next we need to add different gazebo models. On the insert option we will be able to see the different options. Now I am adding a car to the car porch area. By clicking on the insert option, we will be able to take different Gazebo models and add to our Gazebo world. Next, adding a tree uh, to the Gazebo world. Next, we need to add different tables to the building. I am adding a cupboard first, placing the cupboard inside a room. Similarly, add different models like standing man, walking man, cafe table, table, etc. to different rooms of the building. To change the orientation, we can use this particular button to change the row pitch view of the model. We have a color code RGB, red, green, blue in that order, row, pitch, view. So, R indicates row. Similarly, other colors indicate the corresponding uh, things. So, we have created a custom gazebo world having a tree, car, a human being, tables and a building. And we also have our robot inside it. By removing the model, you will be able to save this particular world uh, so that you will be able to reuse the same custom world you have created. For that, click on the model, remove the model and then save the world. By giving the world name in the casebo.launch file, you will be able to launch this particular world next day. Currently, we are trying to control the robot using the Teleop Twist keyboard that I have already explained before. So, using the keys, I am controlling the robot inside the custom casebo world. So we have added a camera link on top of the robot. The particular block is acting as a camera. So when we launch this particular robot in our gazebo world, the particular 
robot is publishing camera topics including the RGB image, depth image, IR image etc. We will be able to subscribe the particular uh, camera visuals topic and we will be able to see the camera perspective of the robot. Type ROS topic space list to see all the topics that are active now. You can see the name of the raw image topic and if you want to see the image in image view you have to type rostrand image underscore view space image underscore view space image colon equal to name of the particular topic and press on enter you will be able to see the camera visuals in image underscore view if the image view is not installed in your system uh, install it first and then run this command I will provide the installation step in the description box so this is the custom gazebo world with our mobile robot we are going to see the camera visuals the link is acting as a camera and as the robot moves we will be able to see the camera perspective of the robot if the orientation of the camera is not correct you can change it in the urdf rpy of the join i have already explained that section so as the robot moves you are able to see the camera visuals the robot is approaching a car so you can see the car in robot's perspective if you want to place the camera in a more height you can change the set value of the camera join thank you for watching please like share and subscribe for more videos